changing fashions in the world map no one world map projections can do it all accurate distance direction shapes and the areas over the years different projections have came to for front the winkel triple projections adopted in 1998 by the national geography society is most often chosen today for the general references now whatever we see in the google map also there are so many aspects about these that there is the different types of the views that we have seen this is the mercator view this is the robinson view and this is the vander gritten view so these are the views which we see on the maps which we like to observe them carefully as if we are watching the whole world on the tips of our fingers isn't it it seems to be very nice the robinson projection was forwarded by the classrooms and textbooks of from 80 from 1988 to 1998 the vander grinton projections was used by the national geography society for the most of its political maps from 1922 into the 1980s the mercator projections centuries old and yet still broadly used also distorts and re relatives sizes to the land masses in the high latitudes now here we have the another maps too let's have the focus on that see these are the few of the map projections standard map projections we can say conical projections cylindrical projections azimuthan projections see what are these lovely and attractive projections we can see the conical projections are made as if a large paper cone recent on the top of the globe with its point above the north pole and its bottom edges touching the globe somewhere north equator when the cone is cut the flat map unfolds shaped like a fan okay the conical projections are best for showing areas in the middle latitude so these can be seen very properly the second come is in cylindrical projections what are these then shows the globe as if it were projected into a large sheet of the paper surrounding it is not it seems to be very lovely as if the so the whole world is like a small ball packed or wrapped in a cylindrical bottle isn't it yeah those points around the center near the equator appear accurately but areas near the poles are stretched causing the land marks far to the north and the south to look much larger than they really are the next and the last one we have is the azimuthan projections are also called the plan and zenithal projections to create these the map maker designated the one point of the globe as a center of the map the point can be anywhere the projections an image are uh, as if it is flat piece of the stiff paper were resting there so this is the world in the maps that you think you can hold it in your hands very easily and it seems to be really very nice also have a nice day to all